So we're filming and here we are at, uh, backstage at Union Mashup, literally seconds after an absolutely phenomenal performance here at Away With Words by our guest this evening, Becky Cherryman. Becky, uh, first question, uh, how do you feel after that? I feel good, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a great night, the performances have been very entertaining all evening so far and uh, size audience so it's a lovely first experience yeah. brilliant friendly. great great stuff glad you enjoyed um you, you've been you've performed all over the place you do a lot of performing um how do you prepare for a gig what do you do to i practice for at least a week the poems i'm going to read right yeah once a day usually and then a bit more on the day and if it's new pieces then i practice more often. okay um how long does it this is a personal question. How long does it take? Because I know how long it takes me. How long does it take you to learn to learn a, a poem? How long does it take? Actually, is it? Yeah. So algae bloom. I haven't. I haven't quite. Still haven't quite yeah, yeah. learned. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I have. It's, I think that's because it's a longer poem. So shorter poems I tend to yeah. tend to do quick. get them out quite yeah. really quickly. Um, okay. So yeah. varies. Yeah, yeah. And it depends how tired I am. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I know that feeling. <laughs> In memory of dead flies seduced into the curve of the bandstand light. Lilac and grass soft before the cut. A couple from Florida who visited that summer of 63. Empty, time-soured milk bottles. Condensation and exasperation breathed onto window panes. Men who rested in these corridors before moving on elsewhere. The woman lays her prayer mat to the east, comes for the peace, she says, intones orisons in glaze-stained rivers, while behind her the bound St Agnes is burnished in glass. In memory of whatever it was that was ripped off the wall, the one who comes every week too early for song, those who do not know how to pray, the curdling of their need. There was a great variety of stuff there, it was absolutely brilliant. Where do, you, where do your inspirations come from for writing? Where do you get your ideas from? All over the place. I'm inspired by people, um, experiences, places. Um, I'm inspired by history, art. So, yeah, lots of different things. It's, it's quite um, difficult sometimes to say exactly what it is I write about because I do write about lots of different things. Yeah, uh, okay. I, I don't want to apologise for that. No, no. It's I'm a jack of all crates. No, no, I think that's, yeah, absolutely, yeah, that's, that, that's brilliant. Um, you sort of touched on the next subject then, because you do do a lot of writing, um, and, and I assume you, you've, you've, you've tried different genres. So why, why poetry? What is it about poetry that, that you think is...? Poetry, a few years ago I was working on my, my second novel, um, and I was determined to dedicate myself in time to the novel, but I found that I couldn't help write poems. So, and I'd, all, all, I'd been writing poetry since I was a teenager, the worst poems terrible um, in those days. And I just can't give it up. So even if I try to, I will keep, keep writing. Absolutely, yeah, oh, that, that, that's pretty. There seems to... I mean, I've been around long enough to, to know that poetry, spoken word, seems to come in, picks and goes in picks and troughs. Yeah. It seems to be sort of a prolonged peak at the moment. Yeah. Do, would you agree? Yeah. What, what, yeah. You, would you, anything you can put that down to, or is it just... I think maybe people feel that they want different ways to express themselves. Yeah, yeah. Because I think a lot of the spoken word scene comes about because people actually want to perform as well as hearing hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, sometimes they want their experiences reflected back to them, or new experiences. Ideas that they've thought about, but other times I think it's 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 just perhaps the media has become too predictable, and that yeah. people need an antidote to that, and they need different ways yeah. To, yeah. to express how they feel that doesn't. Fit yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's that's, that's, that's yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, ye
Have you had your breakfast? Got your lunch? But breakfast wasn't as important as zapping zombies or texting Alex back. So invariably, I lied. Often, even with her face pale as broom, her hair shedding like math sheets from an open bag, she'd rise and serve me porridge, a Eucharist of grain and fruit. Threes, she'd say, the ladle tremoring in her left hand. And we'd speak our trios, holy trinities of how the day before had been, what we'd loved and why. Let me ask you another question. I don't know if, how many times you've been told before I take it before. Yeah, I haven't been for a, a long time. Okay, oh, cool. Um, so I, came, I was at the Humber Miles Literature Festival yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a few years ago and I was, I was involved um, with, with a project, an artistic project, okay. um, where we collected conversations from people on the opening night and then right. the, my colleague created digital art. Ah, oh, right, okay. So yeah, it was yeah. fantastic because I basically got to speak to people yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all night oh, brilliant, yeah. Uh, at the launch party and saw Lionel Shriver the next day. All right. Oh. Was, uh, I'd, never, I'd never come across her before. Okay. It was fascinating. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, well, let me ask you the, the question that I do ask everybody and then you'll, you'll be fully aware that this is 2017 and all these... Uh, the uh, British City of Culture. Do you think, from your knowledge of Hull, that, that that's a deserving accolade? And, and, well, and you know, I was in the, the Bowery earlier and they have got TVs in little booths. So oh, brilliant, so we're undoubtedly cultural. <laughs> no, I, I, um, yeah, I think there's a lot. I mean, I re the, the Humber Mouth Literature Festival yeah, yeah. was wonderful. You know, I was it is so, a great event, so yeah, it is a great event. By, um, the variety and the buzz. Yes. Um, and coming here tonight, it's also very clear that there's a big. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, a yeah. lot of interest in, in different yeah, yeah. types of poetry. Um, and I know there's lots of exciting things going on, so I'm planning to spend more time oh, brilliant. this year. Oh, that's cool. It was my own fault. I held out my hands to receive it. The plague of years. I never intended to give my body to a man, but he played the harp like honey dripped his promise into my ears. All was ambrosia at first, but I couldn't love him and he didn't take rejection well. Even if I were not a prophetess, I should have foreseen it. After all, this god has a reputation for making laurel trees of his lovers, drowning nymphs in the mouths of springs. Turns out, it was our tongues he sought to claim. We taught him lyric, verse, and metaphor. Now that is all that's left. Let me ask you one more question. Um, there's, there's been a lot of talk um, about the, uh, the use of poetry and spoken word in, in advertising mm -hmm. um, with the nationwide ads yeah. and the George the Poet thing and Luke Wright's uh, views, I don't know if you saw yeah, that, his uh, poem. Yeah. But what are your feelings on it? Do you, do you have any...? Um, I think if we can get poetry to a wider audience, yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that as long as people aren't um, compromising on their principles, then it's fine. And yeah. I, I think that most of the poets involved in the nationwide offer, particularly, haven't been compromising on any principles. No, no. The nationwide is not all bad at all. No, no, yeah, that's so, it. Yeah, and, 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 you know, poetry has lots of different purposes. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be very literary or can be for a mass audience, and, and I think we need to welcome all types of poetry. And also, poets need to make a living somehow. So, um, I don't think we should prioritise certain ways of making a living. Brilliant. Should be in each individual's choice. Brilliant answer. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, final question. This has been your first time at Away with Words. In a couple of sentences, what's your experience, your Away with Words experience been so far? Um, friendly. Yeah, yeah. Um, wacky, fantastic wallpaper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, warm and welcoming. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you for that, it's an absolute pleasure, um, so it just leaves me to say really, Becky Chairman, you've been an absolutely brilliant guest here at World Words. Thank you very much for performing, we look forward to having you back very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks, Becky. But what could I do? 
be defeated by this algae bloom. I took the plunge, I made the lunge towards the edge where real plants blossomed, honesty and sedge. To my surprise it felt quite nice to feel that bloom upon my thighs. And when I reached the shore I found no dreadful symptoms on that sandy ground. Beware, it said, of the algae bloom. And I took some with me to my room. So every time my nerves are frayed, I'll talk to it and be not afraid. For I have swum through it and lived the blue, the green, the gloom, the doom of blue, green, algae, bloom. Thank you. And the crowds came down.